twice in the ball play. Three players to try and get round, and he wasn't going to be able to get past the third. Now Welling trying to break forward right hand side. Guard trying to make it hard for Papadopoulos, who gets the shot in. Henry dives, but he just got a touch, and he did to tip that round the post. You wonder whether that was on target. In fact, Henry perhaps arguing. I'm wondering whether he didn't get a touch to that, and the shot was off target. But it's been given. Going to be taken on this uh, left hand side. That's Vaughan with it. Goes deep. Header goes in. Welling United have taken the lead. Jack Birchall, the centre half, up from the back, getting his head on that corner from the left. And in the 18th minute of the game, it's Tunbridge nil, Welling United 1. Junior trying to look after him and Higgs. In it goes, was near post, another header only just wide. Oh, they're causing problems. It was the Tunbridge head which put it out because the referee has given another corner. Lima in there towards screen, who come over to the right after the corner in it goes still a chance there with Tanga and Tanga will fancy it and it goes over the top another corner third in the game five in the wall including Janaid Mead I'm sure he's just defending a lower shot and the shot comes in oh it's saved and the rebound goes wide from White and he should have done better it somehow got round the wall Henley saved no defender there White had the goal to aim at with the goalkeeper lying down but did it too quickly and it was off target. He should have done better with that rebound, shouldn't he? So I'm sure he'll want to uh, put it right. Well, there's a long ball forward there, which Payne is chasing. And he could get a chance here. It's saved. It could come, though, towards the Canby on the left-hand side. But it's cleared away. Payne there for the first time. Got ahead of his man. Got a shot in. Did really well to get the shot in. And you've got to credit the goalkeeper. Cross on the right-hand side. Gathered well there from the Brentford Loney goalkeeper for Welling United, Ben Winterbottom. But that was Tunbridge's best chance so far. I think I've just seen a, a, a former Sunderland player walk across in front of us here at Longmead. Attractive. Well, now it's Stefan Payne now trying to go forward. He's got a little bit of space and he gets his shot in and it's saved by the keeper. Did well to get away from his man, but he got his shot in. Twice over Christmas, but let's worry about things in front of us now and the weather now can be different to that. And it's Papadopoulos going forward. That seemed to have opened up for him. It's Papadopoulos with a shot, saved by Henley. I'm not even sure that was on target, but Henley didn't know that. And it goes wide for a corner. Janay Mead there, left with a bit of a predicament. A man to his left, a man running at him with the ball. Who does he defend? It ended up being uh, Johnny Henley forced to make a save. I'm not sure, like you say, if it was going to go in, but he felt he had to put a hand to it. One of those players running around on the edge of that six-yard box. Vaughan puts two arms in the air, delivers a ball towards the far post. And it was almost a header in there from Trusty Lima. But if he did make a connection, it wasn't in the right direction. And Tunbridge get the ball back. 18 minutes gone, second half. Tunbridge nil, Welling United one. Higgs about 25 yards out. And it goes, it's low. There's a can be. Fielding! Well, I'm not sure Fielding really had any conviction with that one. He sort of stuck a boot out at it rather than actually had a shot. But it was very nearly effective. Now Welling are on the attack there, trying to go forward on the left-hand side with a dom. And he's got past his man there. It could be a chance for a second. Tanga's in the area. Johnny Henley cuts out the cross. And Tanga was in space on that right-hand side. And Welling United looked a reasonable value for a second goal there. And looking very much as if that 18th-minute goal from Jack Birchall will settle the game. Referee puts whistle in his mouth and blows. Three points for the visitors. Welling did the double over Tunbridge last season. They won the first game between the two this season. And they just did enough. Had a very good spell in the first half. A lot of set pieces. One of them scored by Jack Birchall, the centre-back, on 18 minutes. They defended very well for the rest of the game. Tunbridge didn't really provide very much of a threat for the rest of the game. It's two wins out of two over this bank holiday weekend for Welling. It's two defeats out of two for Tunbridge Angels. Both sides now on six points. And it's finished here at the Longmead Stadium. Sunbridge Angels nil. Welling United won.